Hey guys, this is Syke and Circus with Seraphim Airsoft, and we're here today to do a video report for the skirmishreport.com. And the gun we're reviewing for Crazy and Seaman and the skirmishreport.com is the Classic Army LWRC M6 variant. It is stellar. You can buy this gun at millspecairsoft.com in a package that includes the gun, the mag, an extra metal flash hider, a battery, and a battery charger for $250. And let me just tell you something, guys. Our opinion is that is an incredibly good deal. We just, just finished skirmishing this gun out in the woods. It is, it feels like it's around 90 today. Uh, the humidity is blowing up, so if we look sweaty, we've been playing some airsoft. What have you been doing? Uh, so let's start off talking about the look of this gun. Uh, this gun looks so cool. The ABS composite plastic here on the stock and the foregrip are some of the highest quality I've seen, especially for a gun that comes in at this price range. Uh, there, there's very little wobble. The LE stock is one of the, the best LE stocks I've ever fielded. Uh, I love I love the foregrip and I love the, the smooth tango down pistol grip. Uh, it's just an incredibly good feeling, tight, well built gun. It looks so, so cool. So if you're the kind of person that wants a good looking gun, and aren't we all, I, I would tell you man, trust us, this gun looks great. Circus, tell us about the feel of this gun. You know, because of the metal body, feels great. That tango down pistol grip's awesome. I have small hands, short fingers, so I can wrap them all around. Feels really comfortable. The texture grip right there is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I just noticed is actually the stock is actually a classic army stock. <laughs> it says that. Got textured grip for the, the stock adjustment there too. Good, I mean, good all around feel. So it got a little bit of heft, so it's got, it feels quality. Um, small enough. I like the CQB size weapons because they're just so much smaller, easier to hold. Just like I said before, if this was broken, I'd want to carry it around just like I would a wallet. <laughs> it it's is just cool. It, it is so so cool. I can't I can't get across to you through a video how good it looks and how good it feels. So let's talk about some of the pros of this gun. Uh, man, the, the distance it shoots, as you'll see in our shooting video, um, 200 feet pretty accurately for a CQB weapon. And it was slightly windy, not too bad, um, but 200 feet, uh, that's impressive. Full stock everything, Absolutely. nothing upgraded on here. So awesome, shoots awesome. High rate of fire with yes. a 9.6. Um, very high rate of fire. I mean, people were asking what kind of motor was in it, and yeah. uh, it's a what, stock motor. What did you upgrade to get <laughs> yeah. it to do that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It sounds awesome. Um, so I mean, everything we've we've seen about this today has just been amazing. It shot really well. Yeah, we we both just fielded it uh, today at the skirmish, and we were both easily picking up kills at. Uh, you know, between 100 and 125 feet yeah. easily. Uh, Circus mentioned a shooting and accuracy report we've done comparing this gun to three uh, to two other guns. Uh, and if you want to see that, you can click right here. Uh, but but let's just say, needless to say, that the stock gun in this LWRC outperformed a JG Commando and a G&G GR15 Raider, and those have some upgrades in them. So this stock gun is incredibly impressive. But we wouldn't we wouldn't be doing you an honest deal if we didn't tell you what we think might maybe were some of the cons. And so I'll start off there. I think I think maybe one of the cons and maybe maybe my only con is is that the hop up wheel gets loose very very quickly. Some of the other guys uh, in their uh, skirmish report videos have mentioned about this gun that the hop up wheel gets loose. We don't know if it's just this particular model or every LWRC M6. But that is one thing. I mean when you get it dialed in it's, it's, it just shoots lasers out there, man. It's incredibly accurate. But if, you, if you're running around, you're shaking around with it, inevitably you'll find that you have to readjust it, which is not something you really, really want to do when you're in the middle of an airsoft firefight. Uh, Circus, any negatives, any cons that maybe come to your mind? Uh, well, for me personally, it has nothing to do with the gun. That orange tip kind of gave me away a few times. So yeah. We didn't want to take it off and put the metal one on and have a chance of breaking it. But, and this gun is just, it's almost flawless, really. I yeah. mean, that the, the hop up wheel, it's got the nice metal classic army yes. hop up, but the wheel is just really loose. Um, other than that, I had no issues with it, not, not a single one. Some guys were talking about how the selector switch sticks a little bit, it does, it's it kind of hard to turn, but it, it's good because you don't have it flopping back and forth, too. So it's loosened up a little, I think, because I, I don't know how many skirmishes it's been through now, but it's, it's tight, but I like that. But it is, it is the tightest selector switch I've ever had. Place, yeah. Like the like the first time when we opened out the box, I was playing around with it, and I'm like, oh man, is this is this broken? And you just had to put a little more muscle into it. So so it is a very crisp selector switch. One other negative that's not a negative as far yeah. as the performance. You mentioned it. Um, it did have a full logo here, and it was barely there when we got it. Yeah. Uh, but that's because it's a sport line. They didn't stamp it. It's just 
kind of painted on there, but it's, it's almost gone from people holding it. But uh, if it was stamped, it'd be a lot cooler. Probably cost more though. Yeah. Uh, so so the trades on this will yeah. fade. They will sweat away as you handle the gun. But performance-wise, it is absolutely top-notch. It compares to guns that are, are higher price range guns for this this gun that you get for 250 at millspecairsoft.com. If you want to see what some of the other participants in the skirmish report thought about this gun, you can click these uh, annotations right here and you can check it out. Uh, well guys, this has been Psych and Circus for Seraphim Airsoft. We'd love for you to check out our videos and we'd love for you to buy your airsoft guns at millspecairsoft.com. Stay tuned guys, we got a ton of great stuff coming up. See you later. If you're still watching this video, our youngest player wanted to say something to you. M-Dog?